And now for the unboxing. Yep, it's all there. I'll put a link to this knob in the description in case you need it. What makes this knob special is the bronze colored smart key. It's what allows you to set this lock to any key. So let's do this. To start, I install the strike plate with the short screws that come with the knob. My DeWalt 20 volt drill makes short work of it, but I have to take it slow so I don't strip the screws. All too easy. Next, I put my latch in place. This latch is adjustable depending on the door. It can be slid to the shorter position or the longer position depending upon the door. Two and three quarters inches or two and three eighths inches. This one is perfect as is. Next, I screw the face plate for the latch into position with my drill. Now for the doorknob. I install the outside part of the knob first. It can only slide through the latch one way, so I fumble with it until I get it right. I hold this in position and then add the inside part of the knob next. Two long screws connect the inside to the outside. I pull the inside knob out just a bit to see where these screws need to go, and I hand tighten the screws initially to make sure they are threaded on correctly. After ensuring that they're going in straight, I switch to a screwdriver to continue tightening. I don't tighten them all the way just yet. Next, I check to make sure that the knob turns as it should and that everything feels nice and smooth. I also check to make sure the locking mechanism is functioning properly. When it all feels right, I tighten everything down. Now, I've purchased a brand new lock with new keys. The beauty of the quick set system is that you can quickly set, hence the name, the lock to any key. I initially put quick set locks like these on the rest of the doors when we bought this place a decade ago, so I'm gonna reset all the old locks to the new key. It's pretty straightforward with this quick set smart key. Here's how you do it. Insert the old key and turn the key all the way to the left and then the right. Then insert the quick set smart key into the tiny opening on the lock that it was made for. Now remove the old key and insert the new key. Turn the new key left, then right, then pull it out. The lock is now set for the new key. It's that easy. I do this on the rest of the locks. Left, right, punch, pull, left, right, pull. I'm pretty sure I'm crushing it until I get to the last lock and the locking mechanism binds up mid-transition. Well, fiddlesticks! Now this lock won't unlock with the new key or the original key. This 10-year-old lock failed mid-transition and hence the lesson from this job. If I had to do it again, I'd transition the new lock to the old key instead of the old locks to a new key. Other than that, it all went well. I've got a new lock in position in my brand new basement bedroom. Be sure to subscribe if you'd like to follow along while I continue finishing this basement bedroom on a budget. See you next time. You know what the pros call a door without a knob? A peekaboo swinger. <laughs> you know what the pros call a door with no knob? <laughs> Ugh.